Hello everybody and welcome back to Wildflowers where today we are going to go and take um, Violet's mum a revive potion that we've been making overnight. Oh, I'm have a it's chat not my first. forte but could I help around the farm? We're a team and I want to do what I can to support you. Uh, I'd love that. It'd really make my day if you could water the plants. Off you go Wesley. I'm on it, sweetheart. Go water the plants. Learn how to be a farmhand. Uh, the other thing that I was working on, I think, was something in here. Oh, I am slow at running, huh? I'll sort that out in a second. We were going to make a new dress. Oh, yeah. The blooming garden jacket and dress. I feel like that would be a nice one to wear for a bit. That is cute. That is super cute. I like that one a lot. Also, I'm noticing Tara's running slow, so we might need to sort that out as well. So let's grab this potion. And let's do a speed boost longer. Let's go to my inventory and get that sorted. Then I think we can go to the gloaming. I think. The time for walking slow is done. Quicken my feet and make me run. I will obviously be flying there on my broom, but once we get there, we want to be nice and fast. Um, I do have fl flowers to water as well, so I will very swiftly go in and check on those as well. Uh, if they need a time turn, a lot of stuff has happened, and uh, if they need a time turn spell, I'm going to just leave them. But if I can get away with just quickly watering them, that will be ideal. So just give those a quick water, and then we'll be on our way. I'm not going to bother digging up dirt in the mountains today. I feel like that's a bit, a bit more than I need to do. My basic chores will do. Okay, I think we're good to go. So let's uh, head back to the third point in the gloaming and we shall go and see what is up with uh, Violet. Ow! Uh, my magic just ran out. That's not good, is it? Let's uh, head over to the wellspring and <laughs> just let's let's sort that out. So what have we got? Many, many primroses. That will do. Right then, Tara, back we go to level three again. It should, this one should be all right, yeah, okay, and there's another one up here that I would not have been able to get through. I still didn't tap those trees. I hope I don't need any more dragon blood any anytime soon. Is there anything else good around here? No. All right, then. <laughs> you can have the potion now, Violet. She still hasn't moved, but I think she's breathing. Here. That dress is so cute. Nothing's happening. Maybe she just was in here too long. I'm sorry I didn't find you sooner, Mom. Right. Don't give up yet. We've already done everything we could do. No, wait. She might still be just coming around. You never know. <coughs> See? <coughs> no patience nowadays. The youth of today. <laughs> Mom? <gasps> it worked! Mommy? Violet? But... It can't be. You're so grown. Oh, she's been in there for ages. How long have I been in here? Four years. Oof. Oh, baby. And Bastian? He's doing okay. I've been taking care of him. Oh, my poor babies. I'm so sorry. I couldn't let the Wraith travel deeper into the gloaming. Marcus, myself, and Giacomo had already banished it from the island once. But it returned more determined than ever to reach the heart of the wellspring. And now it has Vanessa. What? 
Oh, Mom. This is my friend Tara. She's Hazel's granddaughter. Also, it turns out, Vanessa was a witch this whole time. The Wraith is bonded to a witch? This is dire. I should go help the others. Go on ahead of us. I need to help my mom out of here. Okay, right. So some nice magical potions and we need to go find Vanessa in Fairhaven. Oh, this is some serious stuff now, isn't it? Woof. Okay. Let's run on down and uh, go into town. And see what Vanessa is up to. No doubt causing absolute havoc. Run, Tara, run! <laughs> this is why I needed my run potion on. My run incantation. Not that I ever leave home without it. It's terrible. So let's go and have a... Look in the main town square. Mm. Mm. Let's try down by the consciousness centre then, I guess. And then I'll have a look around the beach and my farm. If uh... It said to look in town, didn't it? I think. Can't remember. Oh, here's people. Oof. You, you demon! How dare you take the shape of my wife? This is your wife, you idiot! <laughs> Woof, the Wraith pulls no punches, or was that Vanessa? We will never know, I guess. You have to calm yourself, Vanessa. Your malcontent energy is too strong. She's not a malcontent, my dude. She's a witch. Oh, they're all pulling out their wands. Oh, look at Shelby, he looks so cross. I love Tara, Shelby. you got here just in time. Natalia, Angus, Parker, you were right. There are witches in the town. You just kept... <sighs> Accusing the wrong people! Oh, in front of Emmy as well. I knew it! I knew something weird was happening! <laughs> the person you should put on trial for being a witch is right there. Lena, the head of the coven. It's the Wraith! Don't listen to her! She's possessed by a Wraith! Wraith! Let Vanessa go! She doesn't want me to let her go. She's finally achieved her goal. Power over a coven that refused to let her in. And just because she wasn't from an established bloodline of witches! Now, if that's genuinely why they didn't let her in, then that's pretty mean. Although I have a feeling there might be other reasons. So we will, uh, I will reserve judgment for now. I don't know how much longer we can keep this up, Lena. <laughs> you don't need to. The Coven will submit to me as the new High Priestess. You have until sundown. One thing I will say is I don't know that Francis and Amira are from an established bloodline of witches. I know Tara and Lena are, for example, but... Hmm. What are we going to do? <laughs> to cast out a genie that powerful, we need more time. Ah. Now there's an idea. <laughs> Master of time. Uh, who thinks Shelby for the next Doctor Who? <laughs> In this place, I will pause time. The moment that I speak my rhyme. Go on, Shelby. <gasps> That's a dirty trick. But the incantation will wear off eventually. Shelby, the spell only affects this part of Fairhaven, right? If I go get supplies for my farm, time will start moving for me. Oh, so I'm stuck in one area now. How am I supposed to make the banishment incantation? You can use the desk in my store. Would that help? I'll run to the bar for supplies. The non-alcoholic kind. Promise. 
Wesley gave me the parchment, but I still need fennel seed powder and a few of Vanessa's personal items. Amira may have some fennel seed powder in her clinic. And as for the personal items, why don't you try talking to the people Vanessa knows best? So, Otto, and maybe the kids she teaches? In the meantime, we'll keep an eye on Raithy McRaithface. Come speak to me when you're ready. Raithy McRaithface. <laughs> All right then. Two personal items of Vanessa's. So what I would probably say I would want to do first is to go to the school. I don't want to go further in. Yeah, it's this way, isn't it? Oh, okay. Let's have a chat to give her then. How is she floating like that? Invisible wires? Oh, sorry, you were asking me something. Items belonging to Vanessa? No, I'm afraid not. Hey. Didn't think that the giver would be one. The school is shut right now. Should be open, but obviously Vanessa's not there. Oh, the kids are in the playground. Let's see if they know anything. If I had anything that belonged to Mrs. Soft, I'd be in so much trouble. She has lots of pens and scissors on her desk at school. I guess those belong to her. I don't have a lockpick, so... I don't have anything of Mrs. Soft stuff. She's my teacher. That'd be weird. She has plenty of my stuff, though. That she con confisc oh, taken. She keeps it all on her desk. You should check there. Can I use Francis's place to make... Is that now open to me or not? I, I should check with Otto anyway. My wife is a witch. I know, buddy. It's a lot to take in. My wife is a witch. Okay, and I can see you're still processing. But I need your help. Do you have anything on you that's important to Vanessa? Uh, I can take this ring off now. Have that. I guess this means she doesn't need me anymore. She does. I'm sure she still cares for you, Otto. But she never told me that she was a witch. A witch! Okay, so we've got Otto's wedding ring. Uh, you want what? Sorry, I'm having a hard time thinking straight. It's been kind of the weirdest day of my life. Uh, did you say you need some paper? Uh, here. Um. Where can... Francis is shot. Can we still go in there and, like, make incantations and things? Or is that a thing we're not allowed to do right now? We're trying to work out what we can and can't do here. Okay, I can make all of my type like incantations, so uh, I probably do have all the stuff for a lockpick. I very much expect that's why people around town, are, there'll probably be someone, like maybe Marty would give me an egg and then maybe someone else would give me a feather or something. But I want to break into the school if I can. So let's see if that's possible. No, so looking on her desk really isn't a thing. Um, I don't think else she was close to. Remember her and Violet and a couple of others. Let's just ask everyone. Anything of Vanessa's? I made her a beautiful oak dining table, but that's inside the mayor's mansion. Besides, I want to stay out of this. I'm still thinking everything over. Cameron might, because he was effectively her pastor, I suppose, in a way. Lena said that witches aren't the same as malcontents. I'm trying to believe her. By the way, she said you might need some paper. I'm not sure whether that will help right now, but here, have a few blank pages from the Book of the Mind. Oh, 
Wow, that's very generous of you. Oh, that's parchment. Okay. Vanessa never comes to my forge, so nope, nothing of hers here. Wait, before you go, Vanessa's possessed by a wraith, right? Mm hmm. Is it possible that happened to me, too? Yeah, I think that, uh, it's definitely possible. Oh, I gotta sit down and think about that. Okay, let's go over here. Let's ask Violet. Violet? Where's your mom? I got her out of the gloaming, and she told me to run ahead and help. I really hated to leave her back there, but... Whoa, this is definitely an all-hands-on-deck kind of moment. Do you have anything of Vanessa's I can use for the incantation? Just a bill for floral arrangements that she hasn't paid yet? Now I know why no one's ever put a resort on Fairhaven before. Witches! Uh, by the way, someone mentioned you need an egg? I definitely need to lock Seems egg. like a weird thing to need right now, but hey, I'm just some guy from the city, not a witch. I was just some girl from the city until I became a witch. Trust me, it's like not too giving late. Me, like giving me the lockpick ingredients, but maybe until I've gotten the feather. Was it a feather? Or was it ink? It might have been ink. A yeah, it was an, an egg and ink and paper. Uh, I'm fine staying normal. Um, no offense. Okay, let's... Uh... So, there have always been witches here? That's what I learned when I joined the coven. My grandma had a cousin who was a healer. She used to take trips to Fairhaven and come back with strange plants and herbs. But they weren't from the part of Fairhaven I can see. Were they? No, they weren't. Right. Well, I don't have anything of Vanessa's, but I bet you knew that. Hmm. So he started working a few things out. Let's uh, chat to Lena and Shelby. Oh, Lena, no, but Shelby, yes. Have you got anything of Vanessa's for me to read? Yes, this is a ring Vanessa gave Otto. Well then. Ah, you've been trying to get into the stone circle for a long, long time, haven't you? Years and years longer and we realized. There's a man approaching you in the woods. He looks like he is Otto. But this is the first time seeing him, isn't it? And you slip in the ring as soon as you figure out what kind of person he is. You start courting him, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know you were the masked figure in the woods. She really played a blinder there, then. Why was she leading a double life this whole time? Because what she wanted and what Otto wanted were the same. Power in Fairhaven. Mm. Whoa, Wiley. Vanessa doesn't have the far sight, but stars above. She plans like she does. Well done, novice. This ring holds many echoes of Vanessa. Right, I still need to get in that school. I'm certain that's where I need to go, unless it's the mansion I need to get into. Let's check. There's definitely somewhere I need a lockpick spell for, which is why I'd be given paper and eggs. 100%. Right, okay. cry. See, when Sophia first screamed about Vanessa being a witch, I thought she was like <laughs> saying a different word, you know? Can always rely on Kai for a bit of levity in a serious situation. Because uh... we've all thought that. But nah, she's a witch. And so are you. That's rad. Oh, yeah, and uh, I don't have any of Vanessa's stuff. I've, like, decentralized possessions in my life. Definitely no room for anyone else's. Oh, well, thanks for the vote of confidence anyway. Okay, so we've chatted to all of these guys around here. Anybody in, like, the cemetery or anything? Just some birds. We can't talk to Hazel at the moment. Should have gone and told her I got married. All right, let's chat to Damon and Sophia then. That's how your mom became such a good cook. She was a witch. Nah, Sophia. She's just naturally talented like you. 
sorry to interrupt, but do either of you have something that belonged to Vanessa? No. We weren't close. And now, we never will be. That piece of... It's okay, Sophia. Juliet is safe. I oh. If he has any leads, he'll tell me, I think. So that was a no. Uh, let's try Bruno. Well, brine me and stick me in a barrel. I knew she was strange, but a witch? Are you talking about me or Vanessa? Vanessa, of course. You're Hazel's granddaughter, so... Ah, oh, jeez, Hazel was a witch too, wasn't she? <laughs> yup. Well, she and you have never been anything but sweet to me. I heard you might need some squid. Is it for a spell? It's for ink. Yes, it is. Huh. Maybe there's a new market that Bruno's bait and tackle can serve. So they've just given me all of the ingredients for breaking in. I wish I had some of Vanessa's stuff. That woman has good taste in jumpsuits. But no. Sorry, Tara. So there's definitely somewhere I need to break into. I think, I'm sure it's the school. Let me in the school. Have I talked to enough people yet? But normally it gives me like a thing in front of it, doesn't it? Like time has stopped right now, so it's definitely not a time thing. Okay, let's go back to Francis's place. Make another lockpick spell just in case it like needed me to get the things off people first or something. Okay. I'll have a chat to Angus as well. Gotta bake, gotta bake. Gotta bake, bake, bake. Hi. Don't mind him, Tara. He does this when he's overwhelmed. He's still dealing with me being a you know what. Yeah, there's a lot of people having to deal with that right now. We get in the town hall. Oh, what's the deal then? Because lockpick only works when it comes up. At a certain thing. So I've like chatted to everybody. Can't get in the school, can't get in the mansion, can't get in the town hall, which are all places where I think that might be a, a good place to try and get into. I feel like I've spoken to everybody. But maybe there's more people, I don't know. This is confusing. Sebastian? Huh? You want something of Vanessa's? Have you checked the school? I mean, everything on the teacher's desk belongs to her. How am I supposed to get in? I guess it's locked. Not a problem. Take this. Wait, how did you get this? Juliet and I wanted to see the solutions for a math test. So when Vanessa dropped her spare key... Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, it wasn't a lockpick. Well, the lockpick was one solution, I guess. Just don't tell Violet, please. But no, Sebastian had the key. Well, I guess since you're doing me a favor there, I will... Uh... Typical is the last person to talk to as well. You did me a favor, so... I will... Do you a favor and not to tell your friend, your, your sister about you that. You don't look like her usual style. That's because they're her secret gloves for doing secret stuff. Shelby will know if they're important to her. I noticed the quest is called Lock It Up, and I noticed that there's been a locket shape in the on the metalworking bench for a long while that I've not been able to use. Interesting, huh? Alright, Mr. Farseer, I've got you a second thing. 
I have these gloves. I got the sense that they're important to her. We'll find out. Hmm. You didn't start out as gloves, did you? You were a sweater. A sweater for a much littler Vanessa. Oh, wow. I didn't think Vanessa was sentimental like that. You put on the sweater because it was cold and you wanted to go back to the place you found while out adventuring. Hmm. <sighs> The stone circle. She found it when she was tiny, when she was in the woods, playing as a girl, on holiday. Barsir, what happened? When she was a girl, she came to Fairhaven one summer. She went out exploring and found the stone circle. But she couldn't get in because she met someone protecting it. Marcus drove her off. She never forgot. She's been trying to break in since she was a kid? Holy... And when she outgrew the sweater she was wearing that day, she unpicked the yarn, had it made into gloves. The gloves sound perfect for the incantation, then. You couldn't have found better. If you've got all the supplies, best get to making that incantation. Okay. All I need now is fennel seed powder. The Adept can fix you right up, then. I won't waste any time. You can't waste time when it's frozen. <laughs> right then, so Vanessa's Wraith Banishment spell. At Francis's writing desk, I'm guessing. So we, win we need to go and see Amira in the clinic and get the fennel seed powder. It's actually the one place we didn't go already. Ah, uh, that's right. You still need fennel seed powder. Here. I knew there was a good reason to keep a stash in the clinic. You never know when you'll have to perform an emergency banishment procedure. Yep. All right, so let's go to Francis's place. Let's have a look. Vanessa's Wraith Banishment. Got all the stuff I need. Ooh. That is going to take a lot of magic. Okay, let's fill me up. Actually, that one will do after I've used this it's going to tap out all my magic so to get it filled back up I'll need to take one of those again okay so let's try again it takes a full the entire thing all my magic drained good grief good job I had all those power ups huh I am. I guess Give has got the answer about all the meteorological stuff. She might be a bit upset about that, to be honest. Alright, let's do this thing. Have you spoken to the High Priestess? I think she'll need a word. Alright then. There's one more part to all of this, Terra. What? Something I didn't want to mention in front of the others because, well, I don't know if I believe this myself. Okay. You're making me nervous. And me. To contain Vanessa's wraith, we need something particularly powerful. Do you know the story about the base of the Molly and Peggy doll statue? Uh, yes. There's supposedly something hidden in there, right? Yes, a locket. Oh, I didn't know that bit. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I guess I do now. But you're not sure if it's true? There are plenty of legends about Molly and Peggy. Most of them aren't true. But we need all the help we can get, so I figure before you make the banishment incantation, can you check the statue? Sure. Will I need anything special? A lockpick incantation wouldn't be a bad idea. And if you don't have the ingredients for uh, one, ask around. There we are. <laughs> I definitely do, and I've made about four of them now. 
Retrieve the Dial Sisters locket from their statue with a lockpick incantation. Okay. Well, this is certainly exciting, isn't it? No, that's not them. Violina's store. Time to see if this legend is the real deal. I wonder how it will open up. There was a secret. Two could keep it. But now I cast this charm to seek it. Ah, uh, in the base. Oh, cheddar biscuits. There is something in here. Oh, cheddar biscuits. Knew I it. knew it. I knew the legend would turn out to be true. Doll Sisters Locket. Alina, I found it. That was quick, huh? I'm so glad I made that running potion. The running incantation, even. It's real. We've done a lot of running today. Oh my. I didn't think I'd really be able to lay eyes on this. Our chances of beating that wraith seem pretty good, Lena. I'd like to think so, but remember, it kept Gloria's stuff in the gloaming for years. Do you have everything we need for the banishment? Yeah. Yes. Let's try this. Ready? You see? You never had the power to defeat me, and now you have no power at all. The wellspring is mine. Submit. Never get away from my house! And I'm replacing all the flowers you ripped out, you hear me? Ha! Ah, another wellspring. Wait, it's acting like... A, a mood ring. No, like the Coven Cauldron. Lena, was this fountain possibly built on top of... A font to the wellspring, of course. And Vanessa must have figured it out. And that's why she manipulated Otto into running for mayor. Ah, so that's how she's been... <laughs> using was magic from the wellspring. Fool, but we don't need him anymore. Oh, uh, well that's just mean. Poor Otto. We need more offerings. Let's see if they'll contribute an offering. Okay. Thomas, do you have anything I can offer the wellspring? I've got loads of stuff I can stick in there. <laughs> I wish I could help you, but what you've got in those woods aren't my gods. Hmm. Here. But only because we're friends, Tara. Cabbage? Marty, do you have something I can offer the wellspring? Sure! Why not? First witch trials, now throwing random things into a fountain. Just be real with me. Is this all some elaborate prank? Am I on a reality show right now? It look great on Instagram, right? Feed. Kai, do you have an offering we can throw into the fountain? You're very free with your gifts, but you should be careful what you offer the spirit of an island. Sometimes back home, we would offer this to Pele. A leaf, okay. Uh... Hey, Natalia. We're friends, Tara, so I won't sugarcoat it. What Vanessa has inside her is overwhelming. I felt it. We have to free her, whatever it takes. Iron. Cameron! I know you'll think it's just superstition, but we need offerings for the Wellspring. <laughs> I don't know what I believe anymore. Take this. It's my medal for reaching summit level on the Mountain of Consciousness. Oh, thank you. That's serious. Parker, I hope you know that I'm still your friend, even if I'm a witch. Tara, I'm still working through the fact that I falsely accused Giver while under some dark influence I don't understand. And now it's got Vanessa. Take this. Some wood. How much more do I need? Two. Okay, let's see if Otto's got anything. Otto, we still need help getting your wife down. We need to make offerings to the Wellspring. 
Whatever it takes. Here. She gave this to me on our first anniversary. When she was my real Vanessa. Not that raven in the cloak and mask. She's still in there somewhere, right? Mm, he still loves her. It's so sad. Gold cufflinks. I think the most touching ones so far have been Otto and... Let's see. Kim and Bruno. Bruno, then. Hey there, Bruno. You still need help getting Otto's missus down, I take it. Here. It's my finest catch of the day. Okay. I'm guessing Kim would have maybe offered some meat or something. Place the offerings in the fountain. I don't know whether those specific offerings need to go in or what, but we'll just... Okay. Tara, read the incantation. Right! Too long in this place. You have been a bane. Now in this locket, be forever chained. That's all you've got. It's still not enough. We need more coven members. That's what we need. Don't give up. Ravenwood's here. Um, who are those people? Perry. Tara, get the locket now. Capture it, Tara. That thing took my mom from me. We can't let it hurt anyone else. You should do it, Violet. Take it. Oops. But still, that's what I would have chosen. Go on, Violet. Vanessa, darling, are you all right? Are you there? Schnooker, you were really a witch this whole time? You've been lying to me? Welcome to the club. Hmm. Messenger Cameron, what do we do? They're all malcontents. I, I have no idea. We can't banish all of them, can we? Just one. Once that ferry is fixed, Vanessa is never setting foot on this island ever again. I won't have her near my child or any of the island's other children. Agreed. Mm. Oh, Sophia, I'm so sorry. I was never going to hurt Juliet. I just needed to borrow her ability. I don't want to hear it. And it's her you need to apologize to. I'm sorry, Juliet. I betrayed your trust. But so did they. They've been lying to all of you for years, just so they could hoard the power of the Wellspring for themselves. Liar. We've protected it, and protected the whole island, at a cost you don't understand. Really? Enlighten me. Gloria? It can't be. It is. Mommy? Oh, Bastian! Who is she? And who's the, the, the fairy and the guy with the backwards feet? <laughs> it's always the guy with the backwards feet that gets them, huh? None of this was in my farmer's manual. What on earth is going on? We've lived here longer than you, mortal. But now our task is done. You won't see us again. They just disappeared. Everyone saw that, right? No, saw nothing. <laughs> Everyone just settled down. We're still the same people we've always been. Still your friends and neighbors. And right now, another storm's coming. But what do we do about you malcontents? I mean, witches. I don't know, throw us a pizza party for, like, saving you? We would never have been in danger if you hadn't lied to us this whole time, Alina. 
Lena's no more dangerous today than she was yesterday. And Shelby is right. You best get home before it really starts to come down. Come along to Town Hall, Mr. and Mrs. Soft. You can't take me into custody! I'm the mayor! Not for long. We need to return to the wheel. This town can't make it through many more blizzards. Time to turn the season. You have brought the incantation with you, yes? I have. What was the object you needed to bring? Nice. Um, Alina, this day has already taken a dark enough turn, don't you think? The blade symbolizes the fire of the reborn sun. Read the incantation, novice. We turn the circle together as one and welcome the birth of the new spring sun. Farewell, embers of the waning year. Tonight, a new year dawns. Blessed be the light that unites us all. We say goodbye to the cold sun of winter. And welcome the warmth of spring. <laughs> Gloria's back. I am exhausted. I want to stay and celebrate, but I think I just want to go home and rest. You've certainly earned it. Do you think this will actually change anything? Now that the town knows our secret. I don't know. I hope so. Turn the season to spring again. Lock it up. Ta task complete. Not to spring one on you. More magic. Like storms that make the river sing. Fill my magic from the spring. Massive magic bar now. Hey, what do I need to do now? There are no more quests. One thing that I can do though. These guys are back. I want to chat to the coven as well. So I can finally make Shelby's uh, incantations. But there's definitely more to do because there are clothes still to get. There are things in Parker's shed that we still haven't got. There are recipes we still haven't got. Let's have a chat to Gloria. I can't believe I've been gone for years. I almost didn't recognize Sebastian when he came to hug me. Violet's been quiet since I've been back. Sometimes I'll catch her staring at me, like she thinks I'll disappear again. I knew something was off with Vanessa, but I could never tell what. I can't help but feel this is my fault. As a high priestess, it's my responsibility to prevent these things from happening. I think this has been brewing for a while, Lena. There's no way you could have seen how this would all be That actually out. started with your father. Vanessa's stronger than I would have imagined a solitary could be. Shelby? Did you know this was going to happen? Some parts of it I sure did. Vanessa, though, she hid her true self better than anyone I've ever known. Interesting. Okay, so some witches do turn out to be pretty bad. Someone once told me it's more about good or bad decisions. Hmm. Well, she's clearly making some pretty bad ones. How is Angus ever going to accept me if people like Vanessa terrorize our town? I'm pretty sure he sees you for who you are. You're one of a kind, Francis. I mean, he's still calling you Schnookums, so I think you're probably going to be all right. Uh, have I talked to Damon? Did I talk to Damon? I can't remember. I'm so glad Vanessa never managed to join the coven. She would have drained the wellspring to his last dregs. And I think it was more about that than anything else. I don't think it was about lines of power and old old witch families and things. Vanessa being a witch shouldn't have come as a surprise. She has the personality that most non-witches assume that we do. I cannot process even one more revelation right now. And I am sure I am not the only one. I 
think everyone needs to get some sleep. And if they can't do that, they need to at least prioritize getting a grip. Cause like, several grips need to be gotten. Right then. Back home we go. I'm gonna head through town, just see if there's anybody else about... Wandering around. Maybe catch Juliet, possibly. That was a big thing. That was very big. And cool. And wow. So yeah, we are in a new spring of a new year now. And that would have been historically where the game would have actually ended. Um, around this point. But they have added new stuff. So it'll be interesting. Let's see what happens when we wake up in the morning. Because I'm sleepy. It was it was saying let's everyone get some sleep, so I'm going to take them at their word on that and uh, t get some sleep and see what happens in the morning. Hiya Tara, how you doing? Oh, you've had it real rough. Yesterday, I wondered if it was possible to die from being too tired. Ah, well, I hate to ask this then, but the fairy is finally out of the ice. If you bring me a ruby, I'll use astral spectroscopy to tune its vibrational frequencies. Uh, my brain can't handle those words right now. Oh, yep, sorry. Okay, it's, uh, it's like this. Embed my customized ruby in the fairy hall, and it'll send out tendrils of magic to repel the water. No human engineer needed. I'll work on it. Bring Zephyr a ruby. Oh, looks like I have plenty of them. I need to see Zephyr anyway because we want to make some more. Um... Oh, do I have pearl dust and diamonds and stuff? Let's have a look. Look, where do I keep my gems nowadays? Yes, but I need to grind the pearls. No, I don't even need to grind the pearls up. I'll just go and make a few more. And give her, give the ruby. Oh, I think actually the ruby might need to go... The ruby might need to go right on the ferry. Oh no, it needs to go to you, does it? Did you get that ruby? Will this one work? Oh, the structure's perfect. Give me a day to tune the frequencies. I'll bring it by tomorrow. Nice. A few of those, please. So I've still got a stronger wand I can get as well. So we definitely aren't finished with this. Anything for like Perry? That's for Damon. No, no, no. Perry. Because I like doing quests for Perry because Perry still needs to be my friend. And I still, I have the, enough stuff to do that. Um, or, oh, hang on. Perry, where are you? The place isn't open yet. Zephyr clearly is an early bird. <laughs> Everyone else is asleep. And obviously, Wesley is in my house. Hello! Vanessa being a witch should surprise no one. There are many other ways of becoming a witch besides lineage. Really? I didn't know that was possible. Magic is a gift. It can be given. As well as taken. Interesting. Do you like a milkshake or something? I still don't have your favourite, so I'm so sorry. But I want to I wanna try. We're like a, an eighth of the way through. But I think I do have Turkish Delight. Do I? I don't know. We'll see. Yes. So I think we're nearly there with Perry. I think we're nearly friends with Perry. Very close to being. Mm, what? Yeah, we don't want to hear that again. 
Vanessa's resolve, her single-mindedness, her cleverness. Parts of her remind me of myself. <laughs> it is startling. You didn't secretly have a baby, did you? I wonder, have I ever sounded like her? Hmm, maybe slightly. You got any good stuff right now? I'll have that, thank you. I'll have those. I'll have... That. 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 Those. That'll do. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Is Perry Store up to... Yeah, it is up to four stars as well. Lovely. Nice to know. Oof, we're still not there. That's taking some time. You're a, you're a hard taskmaster, Perry. But yeah, we'll get the, the charm potion. That should give me a chunk of friendship. Okay, so my next job, I think I want to go into the mountains. Oh, the thistles are back. Just like when we were first here and Grandma Hazel was here. And I feel really sad that like that's an era that's kind of gone by. I'm feeling really nostalgic now. Is it a... <gasps> it is! A recipe! Snickerdoodles! I will keep going with that as much as I can. I do still need to get um, another fish from the mines, I think, to like complete my collection a bit. So that's something I could do. A bit more fishing around the place. Wesley. My heart. I know we have a lot to talk about. We really do. Although I would also understand if you never wanted to talk to me again. No, I have some things I would like to say too. I'll meet you in Ravenwood Hollow after nightfall. Okay. I'll see you then. 7 p.m. Ravenwood Hollow Bridge. Okay. Right now it's spring. I do want to go and see um, some people in town. See if anything's going on down there. Particularly I want to go and see Park. I want to chat to him, but I also want to... See if any new stuff has opened up in the shop at all. Ah, Wednesday. We're meant to be open right now. Huh. Interesting. Oh, Gloria, hi. Violet's told me that you've been a real friend to her since you've come to the island. Thank you for being there for her. I can now give Gloria gifts and things. Ah. Alright, so we need to make friends with Gloria. Gloria Miranda, 51, a powerful witch, recently discovered to be alive years after mysteriously vanishing in the gloaming. Before her disappearance, she led a double life as the first lady of Fairhaven and her husband Antonio was mayor and as powerful a witch. After Gloria tried to stop a powerful wraith, she was trapped in the gloaming for years. Now you've helped free her, she's been reunited with her children, Sebastian and Violet. There we are, we can go and find out what Gloria likes, I guess, now. Let's see what people have to say about stuff that went on. I'm so angry at Giacomo for never telling me he was a witch. I wish he were here so I could give him a piece of my mind and then give him a kiss. <laughs> That's so cute. Damon. I told my parents, and they still can't believe you found Gloria. Or that Vanessa was a dark witch this whole time bit. I think Paul was a bit impressed, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kai. How's it going? I don't know. Like, on the one hand, a lot of weird stuff makes a lot more sense now. Also, I have even more questions than I did before. You're a deep thinker, Kai. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. I can't.
can't believe I was so eager to see malcontents everywhere. Was I a malcontent all along? Maybe a little bit. Oh, did I get any... Did I make sweet potato fries for you? I think I did. Or did I need to make... No, I needed to get some more sweet potato seeds, didn't I? Okay, well, we'll hang tight on that for now. Bastian, I got orange juice for you, though. I knew Vanessa had witch vibes. I just didn't know that witches were a real thing. Or that my sister was one. And my mom? And me? Potentially. Uh, where's your juice? Still trying to get I'm these guys to be my friends. No to a surprise snack. He's getting there. We've got so many people that are like right up at the top. Perry and Sebastian. And I think to a certain extent, Juliet as well. I need to follow you around, Lena. But I want to know what you've got to say first. Do you think anyone here will report what they've seen? Like... I witnessed fairies in the town square. I wouldn't be surprised if, say, Marty tried. But who would believe him? It was a very stressful winter for him, after all. And besides, Fairhaven has managed to keep its secrets for hundreds of years. Okay. Hey, Giva! Uh, what's new? Well, my drone was new, but now whenever I send it up, the data it sends back is just rubbish. I must have broken something when I crashed <laughs> it over by Violet's house. I'm hopeless with new technology, I suppose. It's so disappointing. These drops-ons could have really helped unravel the mystery of this island's bizarre weather. Probably should have uh, talked about that one before. Right then. Yeah, well, where's... Why is Parker? Is Parker in here? No. Where is Parker? He's sat on his bench or something? Sometimes he sits on a bench there. I'm a bit concerned because he should be in his workshop. But he's not. Been an Emmy in there? Oh no, he is in here. Okay. No, he's not in here. Do you know where he is, Angus? So, I guess this is awkward. It doesn't have to be. Oh, Tara, I'm so sorry. I've just had a bad time with witches. Like, really, really bad. Oh, geez, this is all so much. My brain feels like an oven with too many trays inside. Hmm. Poor Angus. Um, where on earth is your is your dad? I wanted to see if I could have a look around the beach and stuff. Well, we'll need to go see Wesley later. Parker is nowhere on this island right now. Not look at that lighthouse. Yeah, I don't have time to pick all that up. Um, yeah, no idea where. That's quite the storm coming in. Making me feel chilly just thinking about it. Sometimes Parker goes to the bar. No. I have no idea. Well, I head over to Ravenwood Hollow and um, 
have it out with Wesley. But I've seen just about everybody else. Unless he's somewhere over in the woods. It's the only place I haven't checked. But we'll look for him tomorrow, I think. I think Wesley is the more important one just now. He's off on his way to the bridge. Hi. I just need to know one thing. Was our entire relationship a ruse? Did you only get close to me so you could feed information to Vanessa? No, I swear it. I never told her anything about you. That's why she cut off my potion supply. Mm. I wasn't giving her the details she wanted. I think that's why she finally went after Juliet. We would have helped. We would have helped you if you had told us what was going on. She had me convinced that she was the only one who could cure me. I know that's not an excuse. I know it's not an easy thing to ask. But if you think you could find it in your heart to forgive me, I promise I'll prove myself to you. We all lied. You lied to me. We lied to the town. None of us are without guilt here. That's true. I don't want to lie anymore, Terra. I mean it. So I think I know what you're going to say. But can we give this another chance? Or is it over between us? Stay together. I don't want it to be over. We've come so far. He just made a mistake because he really, really wanted a thing. I, I can get that. Really? Oh, sweetheart. I promise I'll never keep a secret from you ever again. I love you, Tara. I love you too, Wesley. That was so sweet! In the doghouse, complete! But yeah, where's Parker? And we're gonna get the ferry sorted tomorrow. Sorry, I am wiggling around like crazy. My back is starting to feel a bit weird. So, this will be the last thing I record today. He's back, going back to my house now. So. I like that if you've married Wesley that you get that as an option. I think it's really cool. I think I might just go to bed now. Once I've picked all my trees up. check on the ferry in the morning unless I want to make some more clothes let's just go and see about clothes shall we we've got loads of silk now there's definitely more to it because you know we've still got one wand to get haven't we okay let's go to the sewing machine and decide what it is I want to make so I want to make the purple jacket dress. Do I want to make the baby blue jean jacket? Do I want a pink one? I want like a t-shirt and jeans. I mean, that'd be really cute for summer, like a little a strappy top and shorts. That'd be really, really cute. Vine fresh strawberry leggings. I want to make the juniper berry mini dress at some point. That's going to take a lot though. So to make something casual, I've got my cool work overalls, I think anyway. What do I have something of? You know what? 
We can make the baby blue jean jacket. I just need green and blue cloth for that. So let's make some green cloth. Blue cloth. Go downstairs and make some green cloth. Wesley's still not entirely out of the doghouse though. should do for now I might be able to have a chat with Wesley actually um, make me some green oh, I'm out of cloth am I well maybe we could make some sparkly cloth maybe that'll make me sparkly clothes um right think I need to go and see think I need to go and see old um, Feedy, who's probably got all my wool. Oi, come back here. You. Feedy is sparkly. From all the sparklies that Feedy has. Oh, yeah. I need another sheep at this rate. I'm waiting to get alpacas and ducks and things. I might have to sell some of my chickens to fit the ducks and alpacas in. Although maybe some of the things that Parker might offer me would be upgraded barns and coops that would make sense seeing as everything else has been upgraded but those haven't uh yeah cloth and then i want to make green cloth make a few there and then let's get some green cloth i just love making clothes basically I love making all the different types and then selling them back to violet and unlocking the shop a bit more but I think it's time for bed. Uh, we could have a chat to Wesley first, if Wesley has a conversation to say. I wish I could say Vanessa's reveal took me by surprise, but she always used to ask me for the oddest book recommendations. Looking back, I should have noticed her inclinations. What normal human needs a book on the history of ceremonial magic? Yeah. Wesley, are you serious? Why didn't you say anything? She said it was for a school lesson. Obviously, I shouldn't have believed that. School lesson. <laughs> Teaching kids about ceremonial magic. Well, I suppose maybe like history or something. I don't know. You silly boy. <laughs> I love the boops. The boops are the best. All right, Should bedtime. I go to bed? Bedtime, Wesley. <sighs> and let's get this ferry fixed. This story has been crazy the whole way through, like, my goodness. Hey, Shelby! I think this is the first time I've seen you out my way. Well, thought you might be able to help me with something. Okay. Got this old pocket watch handed down from my pa. Tickers stop working, but you got a metal working table, don't you? Yeah. I do, but wouldn't you rather give it to Francis? He's the jewelry expert. Nah, it's a simple job. Gears just need replating, and the missing stone needs to be reset. Well, here, take it. Wow, this does look really special. Shelby's broken watch, and we can make Shelby's watch. If you get round to fixing it, let me know. Shelby's watch can now be crafted at your jewelry table. Why do I have a feeling this is going to be like a big thing? That it'll be magical, it'll be able to turn back time or something silly. Right, let's have a look. Shelby gifted you this watch and you've successfully repaired it. Wonder what it does. Just needs a bit of gold. And now it's disappeared. How interesting. Oh, hey, Shelby. I was just about to... <laughs> he knows. He always knows. 
You already knew, didn't you? Yep. Well, here you go. You keep it. It's special, like I said. You know the time rewind spell I taught you? Well, it works like that. Only instead of just fixing a cake, you can rewind the whole room you're in. I put a charm on it, mind you. The people in the past won't be able to see you. And you won't be able to change what you see. Okay. Interfering in the past is too dangerous, even for the most skilled witch. So it's more like a visit to the past. That's right. It's an old heirloom, though. Probably only has one charge in it. Enough to get you there and back. Which you could go and see Hazel. Might be safest to try it in your house. I really hope this doesn't magic me in front of a dinosaur. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, this is making me really sad because I think she's going to go back long enough to see Hazel. Whoa, where, when am I? Oh, <laughs> a honeybee, you're here. Spring. Of course I am, Grandma. For a moment, I thought you were Robert coming to collect me. Huh. That's why she thought it was Robert coming to collect me. She's not talking to her, she's talking to her. No, Grandma. Shelby gave me his enchanted watch. I, I felt a warm breeze. Yes, we turn the seasons. That's all. <laughs> still a skeptic, I see. But there is still so much you haven't seen. Still so much to learn. And do. We found Gloria in the gloaming, Grandma. We brought her home. Oh, I've done my best to take care of Violet since her mother disappeared. I think she can kind of hear it. Don't worry. I promise I'll be here for her. I know you will, sweetheart. You're going to do great. I'm proud of you. I'm so glad you came back to see me. <sighs> me too. I just wish we had more time. It all means different things. We had <laughs> time enough. <laughs> We've learned how to run the farm. I'll take good care of it for you. And I know you can bring the community and the coven together. We're not quite there yet, but I, I think we will be. Promise me you'll remember everything I've taught you. I will, Grandma. I promise. You will be a marvelous witch. I can already see your powers blooming. It's time for me to rest. Take care, my beautiful little honeybee. I love you. I love you too, Grandma. Bye, Grandma. <laughs> it's too sad to do twice. Wow. Okay, uh, that was really sad, but that really helped me with Shelby as well, so that was really good. Um, 
Zephyr has fixed the machinery. She'll stop by the farm soon. She might I might not have been able to do two cutscenes in one day or something. Sometimes that happens in games. They'll delay a cutscene to make sure that they don't all try and fall together and block each other out. Um, right. I do want to see if I can find Parker because we had completely lost him. And I want to pop down by the ferry and just see if that's all sorted out. Because I am a little bit worried. It's a bit early. So, in theory, Parker should be coming out of this house with Lena. Lena seemed to be in her shop, but no one coming out of there. I haven't been over to the coven recently, though. Or into the woods. So Marty's out here. One thing, it might be down by the ferry. That might be why as well. I haven't been to the ferry, so let's check down there. Oh, Shelby. You know, now that I've had a minute to like sleep and think things over, you were right about a lot of things. Don't worry, I won't let it get to my head. My head's big enough. That old, like, wheezy laugh he has is amazing. Yeah, let's go down to the ferry and see if maybe they're fixing that up. And that's maybe why Parker has not been anywhere to be seen. Could be. Aha! Knew it. We've done as much as we can without that engineer from Milkwater. Thomas, you've been a real help. Huh? Well, you pick up basic carpentry on the fly when you have a whole farm to care for. Oh, uh, hi, Tara. You got that hole patched up fast. Hole repairs aren't too complex, but neither of us are qualified to get the bilge pump working again. Hmm. I know who will be. That must be where Zephyr comes in. So I needed to get those two out of the way so that Zephyr could do do her work. So we'll probably get that now tomorrow. I think we'll just about have time to check that out. Maybe not. But now Parker will go to work and maybe we'll get to do some stuff. I should sell some fish to Bruno, shouldn't I? Because I know I've got lots. Because I always have lots. Printing money. Printing money. Like, well, all this crazy stuff has been going on. I've not really been, like, thinking about my cash flow. So now we're going to have millions of things to sell. I think I technically might be selling that squid that uh, Bruno gave to me. That blind eel. The loach. No, I'm not selling back the worms. I'll do my usual, I think, of selling back. Uh, sorry, buying back. The bait. So, let's do some chub. I wish there was one for hundreds. Bruno's like, why do you need hundreds of these things? I'm like, well. He's like, I gotta spend all my days in the woods just trying to catch them now. And worms. Maybe 300 worms. 
cool. We'll give those to Fishy. Keep Fishy going for a while. So we are now just waiting for Zephyr to finish the bilge pump. We want to make a charm potion and three stargazing potions for Shelby. I feel like I kind of need to just run around the place a bit. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go get my my standard set of recipes that I can get from the mountains, uh, if I can. And then we'll just wander around the place for a bit. Go in and out of all the shops and... But yeah, I am worried about Lena and Parker. <laughs> Parker seems way more hurt than, like, I think Angus and... Because Angus and Francis still have only just gotten married. I think it's a less of a thing for them because it's like, well, they've known each other a while. But it's not been 10 years. I think it's the length of time and the fact that they've had children together. The fact that the it might even affect the children. The children will probably have magic and things. He's had no say in that. There's a lot to break down from their situation. Especially that thing, like, the first thing I ever said to Parker was a lie. That hit really hard. That was just... Wow. Okay. So. Sure. Fishy, I have some presents for you. There you go. Keep you going for a bit. I wonder. Um, do I have anything to do particularly today? Okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a clear catcher. Oh, I can't. I don't have the spell. Okay, let's let's do a spell. And I'm going to run around catching fish, seeing if I can get recipes. And I've yet to get a recipe as a cat, but I still want to try. But is there anything else I want to do today? I'm not even that worried about growing things right now. <laughs> I'm a terror for that. If I don't need it, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> All right, clear catcher. You that swim, run, or fly, please let me travel in your mind's eye. So I want to go see Shelby, and then I want to run back and fish. So the issue with being clear catcher is you've got to run all the way across town, but at least clear catcher is fast. Oof, it's gotten to four now. I'm trying to remember if it's a beach day for Shelby. I'm certain that, like, something happens when you are clear capture and you go near Shelby. But it might just take the right conditions. It might be, like, his final cutscene or something, so I might need to have gotten all the cutscenes prior. Because it's certainly not doing anything right now. But that is fine. Quarter char. Oh, Lena is stood here. Oh, I bet I bet that's where her cutscene will be if I'm not a cat. Thursday before Coven. She stood in the woods. Promise you that's what it'll be. I can't uncap myself though until I sleep, so sad times for me. But I've learned a thing at least. It was what I was suspecting. I also now can't go to Coven until tomorrow as well. I'm feeling a bit silly now for being for being a cat, but okay, it's fine. 
we, there's nothing that we can't do tomorrow. In the next episode. See, Bruno, we might be able to do something with soon as well. Like, I'm hoping that we'll slowly be able to go through everybody. But no matter what, Ariel is still way behind. So if I could find any kind of recipe that would help with that, that would be amazing. But the one good thing is that there's not much that I need to do. But yeah, people are like, oh, be a cat around Shelby. It'll be really cool. And I'm like, not so far. Haven't managed it so far. But that's okay. One thing I haven't done as a cat yet, go to the gloaming and catch bugs. But I'm kind of making my way back up this way, so I think for now we'll just catch fish and things. I will be a cat several other times, I'm sure. But so far, no glass bottles at all. So I, I've still not answered the question as to whether glass bottles can be found as a cat. And that is something I want to try and sort out. But what an action-packed episode. We have basically finished the main storyline, I believe. We found out about Vanessa. We've banished the Wraith. We've told the whole community that we're witches. Uh, it was kind of crazy. They weren't too happy about it. <laughs> we're fixing the ferry. Which will probably mean that we'll say goodbye to Vanessa. Probably Otto as well. Because they, they, they've kind of banished her from the island at this point. And that's, I think, what people were trying to tell me about. Make sure you get the cutscenes. Because everybody else you can just do in the next year. We're going to need to find out what Gloria's favourite things are. And try and give her them if we can make them. I wasn't even looking at what I caught there. <laughs> It certainly hasn't popped up like, you found a recipe. All right, I think with that, it's probably just time for me to go to bed. Uh, next time Lena has a day off will be, I think, Sunday. So we'll make sure we go to the woods and see if she's hanging around there. If not, then we'll have to wait until the next Thursday. It looks like that's part of her, part of her thing. Most people are starting to get there though like Violet, Wesley, Sophia, Thomas, Vanessa all done Perry on her way Natalia, Otto, Parker all done Perry, Sebastian, Shelby not Lena not Juliet not Kai not quite Francis needs a cutscene I think Lena only needs yeah, Lena still got a whole heart to go it's crazy she's so difficult to get to know and same with Amira but I've got those oatmeal cookies, so I need to give those to Amira, and then hopefully that will help with that, and, you know. But there's not too many Should now, I is the point. I will wake up in my human form. And Bruno as well, so, like, we'll need to try and find his cutscenes and, and things like that. Um, people were saying that it might not happen till spring, so I'm happy just to wait on that. So we'll go to sleep, and I will say goodbye to you. Good grief, did we get a lot done. Wow, it was crazy. But uh, yeah, we're going to be back to slightly more normalness next time. Uh, like I say, we'll fix the ferry up and see what other things come along. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.